Welcome to 3 Minutes with Kyogen, where you will get answers to specific questions in 3 minutes. The products shown here are intended for molecular biology applications only. These products are not intended for the diagnosis, prevention or treatment of a disease. Kyogen offers complete solutions from sample to insight for performing next-generation sequencing from single cells. Each mammalian cell contains only 6 picograms of genomic DNA, while most NGS methods require nanograms of DNA, hence, whole genome amplification is a must. Whole genome amplification can be done by PCR-based methods or non-PCR-based methods, such as MDA. The question today is, why is MDA the most preferred method of whole genome amplification? During PCR, DNA templates undergo a number of cycles including heating steps at 95 degrees Celsius for denaturation. Repeated exposure to high temperatures leads to DNA damage, deep urination, and strand breakage. This will result in amplification bias that will affect sequencing results. Multiple displacement amplification, MDA, is an isothermic amplification process where the amplification is carried out at 30 degrees Celsius. The low temperature helps to keep the tiny starting material intact and reduces DNA template damage. Secondly, MDA uses Phi-29 DNA polymerase that has three important properties. Compared to TAC DNA polymerase, which is normally used in PCR-based methods, Phi-29 DNA polymerase has a thousand-fold higher fidelity, resulting in very low error rates. The Phi-29 enzyme has very high affinity for the template, and this makes it suitable for use with a small amount of material. Phi-29 also overcomes the challenges presented by the secondary structure of DNA in GC content, resulting in a highly uniform coverage of the genomic regions. Phi-29 DNA polymerase also has extraordinary processing capability. Each highly processive Phi-29 enzyme remains bound and continues replicating a single template for long stretches up to 1,000 kilobytes. This processivity also means there are fewer polymerase binding events and less opportunity for certain templates to become highly overrepresented. The combination of high template affinity and extraordinary processing capability enables it to generate long fragments. How does Kyogen apply this technology? Kyogen offers the ReplyG Single Cell Library Kit, which is based on MDA technology. The kit uses a gentle alkaline incubation strategy, allowing effective cell lysis and highly uniform gDNA denaturation with low DNA fragmentation or generation of abasic sites, thus maintaining DNA integrity. The specially developed Phi-29 variant leads to high yields of long amplitude fragments with high accuracy. The library preparation protocol is a simple, one-two procedure that reduces the risk of losing DNA in the intermediate steps, resulting in high yields of superior quality libraries that do not need further PCR enrichment steps. Overall, the combination of MDA technology and Phi-29 polymerase in the ReplyG Single Cell Library Kit enables you to prepare sequencing libraries with high fidelity and accuracy, while retaining the sample genomic diversity in about five and a half hours. For additional information, please listen to our webinar series on single cell analysis, sample to insight overview.